It's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime with the sleepy boys. <laughs> All right. Jet, what else you got for us? Throw throw some more fact at okay. us. So I think that's about it. Okay, it's also okay. our show. <laughs> you know you guys know the movie that Warner Brothers announced, right? Um I know they've about announced a lot of stuff, announced. but I'm about how they uh, with they, they, they announced know, like, that they're abandoning the whole world building. They're just focusing on like single movies, well, right? But, right like, after well right after movies. Movies. Literally everything. Like, there's a Plastic Man movie in the makes, a Supergirl movie, uh, Joker and Harley. Let me think of... Oh, The Deep from Aquaman. Uh, That'd be cool. Oh, the, the, the Deep? The Deep, like, the deep you know, is the, a... Uh, a little a red monster from Aquaman. I'm about it's it. It's supposed to be people from beneath the bottom... Like... Where the ocean, where the floor of the ocean is, things from beneath that. So things that are like so oh. old, no one has memory of them. Yeah, yeah and in the deep movie, Aquaman won't be in it. Hey, as long as uh, Amber Heard's not in there, I'm cool with it. Same. And, okay. oh, and no, it has no, nothing no, to do with no, Aquaman. No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 I mean, sure, but I don't like her for the other thing too. I'm not. I'm not gonna get into that on this show, though. You know, real quick, yeah. what's funny as fuck is I just edited the gaming episode where you were going off about Amber Heard. Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that bitch. Like I, I literally just listened to you say the exact same thing <laughs> that I heard earlier today. I'm proud of me. Give yourself a pat on the back, bud. So <laughs> too late. Here's. <laughs> Here's the thing I want to say is, I, I'm going to be real here. Marvel and DC are both guilty of this. Well, not exactly Marvel MCU, but, you know, Marvel, uh, the Sony Marvel. Um, so something that both DC and the Marvel Sony verse are guilty of, and it pisses me off to no end, is doing, like, villain movies without having, like, villain origin movies without the actual, like, hero that they fight against we talked about this when, when we did, talked about when did marvel do that again it's venom. the sony verse with venom and they've got morbius planned all these other ones that they're planning on doing without okay, ever having so you have a problem with sony not marvel studios that's Disney. what i said no no that's what i was saying is is yeah, I, I even specified the sony verse is it weird that i don't even consider the sony movies like marvel movies <laughs> not really um well, there's, I think there's connecting them because the the Falcon, or not the Falcon, the Vulture is going to be in uh, Morbius. Yeah, but they've also stated that that does not necessarily mean that they're connected. They're just using the same actor. Yeah. Uh, what I what I want to just see is I want them to do a Batman movie with all the ver like l surviving versions of the Batman. So you want like Batman so incorporated? So like a Spider-Verse movie with... Batman. I, I want to see this. The, the I want to see Batman enter the Spider Verse. Yeah. So we got to get your Batman in there too. I don't think I'm all that interested in seeing that because all it's going to be oh. is just different Batmans yelling at each other trying to get control over the group. Hey, but you have. Hey, wait, 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 Mark. About yeah. You, were at, you had a good initial thought. I don't want it with all the surviving Batman. I want it with all the Batman. I want. I want Adam West's corpse in the corner. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, here's the thing is, is, is there is also imagining a movie where there's a bunch of different actors yelling at each other. I am the night. Yeah, that sounds is, is, there's no action. It's just Batman <laughs> yelling at each other. But here's the thing is, you'd have, have you'd have fucking like, is Burt Ward still alive? Yeah, I think he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yes. You'd have like 84 year old Burt Ward still wearing the fucking Robin song. <laughs> Oh, no. sack just dangling out of the, <laughs> of the underwear. He has to strap. He has to strap his nut sack to his thigh just so it doesn't dangle. <laughs> he just tucks him into his little boots. No, no, that's his uh, bolo that he uses to trip people up. 
<laughs> but Holy then you'd also so you'd have like it's fucking just Burt Ward Christian bagging a bunch of villains. <laughs> <laughs> ah, take that! <laughs> Eat uh, my bolos. Like, make the Burt Ward movie like edgy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so you get like just being Burt Ward in like a Batman, Batman. Uh, Batman Beyond scenario where he's training the next Robin. <laughs> But it's just him getting all his anger out, and it's just him being violent as hell. Just beating the, the shit opening out of the, movie. the opening of the movie is all the remaining Batman. Burt Ward walks in and just murders them all, and then just goes, I am the knight. And then it's the opening credits. <laughs> God damn it. I like this idea. I like this idea. But, like, we the best be part movies. of this... The best part of this would be the fact that you'd have fucking, like... It's like 400 pound Val Kilmer standing next to Christian Bale. And just being like, he, he's lost a lot of weight. Oh. And a lot of throat. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, Jeff. That's yeah. so high. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I missed what did you, what did you say, Holy Jeff? shit. Val Kilmer had uh, I said throat and cancer. And a lot of throat. Oh, yeah, Val Kilmer uh, had, had throat cancer and had a lot <laughs> of. Um, Fucking he's, he's been through a lot. Just you just he's he's standing there with Christian Bale's Batman. Like, he so kind of take to get your voice great, right. I just got myself canceled, <laughs> sir. He kind of looks like Roger Ebert before you know. No, <laughs> get the fuck off of me! Whoa, what is going on over there? Three of you, uh, this is not your house. <laughs> it's the dog's house now. I live here. Yeah. I'm at my own house. So do the dogs. Uh, have you been everywhere? Have you marked it as your territory? Yeah. Come on, I, you oh, don't blacklight my okay. bedroom. If he starts marking territory, Brandon, I think you should kind of like, you know. Mark, you're not allowed over if that's what you've started doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just got to take me to get fixed, Brandon. Oh, I will. Take me to get fixed? Hold on. Oh, my God. Just because you get fixed does not mean you don't mark things. I have to walk around with Bucky for a solid 30 to 45 minutes because that fucker pees on everything. <laughs> I, just wanted you to, I just wanted to get castrated and I wanted you to pay for it. So. <laughs> oh boy, uh, of course I'm, I'm going to mark I'm, everything. Boy, I'm castrating you like Victorian style. I'm putting you in a hot milk bath and snipping your balls off with some piano wire. Oh my god, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is... What are you talking about? He was going to go medieval on your ass. I have never in my life heard of something remotely like that. Oh, yeah. That's how they I made mean, um, castrados. Have you not seen Fight Club? I mean, I it's been years. Going back to this castration thing. Do you, do you, know, what a, <laughs> do you, know, what a, do you know what a castrado is? Yeah, it's a, it's a person that sings and they need a high pitch. Yeah. <laughs> you know how it works. Yes, you get the testosterone out of the adolescent boy before he can hit puberty. That no, you way, don't he get it out of him. You just snip it out before that's he what I comes mean. out. That's what I. That's what I meant. Yeah. See, for Brandon, for him to reach those high notes, he just grabs his ball sack and just squeezes as hard as he can. The I voice is produced. On stage with Brandon. The voice is produced by castration of the singer before puberty, or occurs in one due to an andronological condition. Why the Never fuck? reaches sexual mass, uh, maturity. You know, so it's like the go. third episode we've talked about genital genitalia tort like tor like destruction and shit. You know, what? that just reminds me of um, this video where there's these uh, choir boys like singing, and then one of them has a balloon with he like helium inside yes, of it. I love all that. Sucks it and then just <laughs> hits that high note. <laughs> Guys, I'm. You I'm 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 concerned at how often we come to genitalia torture. See, I don't really? like. Well, uh, well, it's either that or it comes to Brandon's dick. But yeah. Okay, so I've been saving this story for a good time. Um, is this a story I, that you can share on the podcast, or is this for us only too? Jeff, of course, I'm scared. This is, no, no, this is the one. I, this is something we can share on the podcast. I don't. Okay, so Jeff, I know you're on some dating sites, and nope. Key, I know you said you've had you've had experience before. Yes, Jet, I don't know if you do anything. It for a bit. Or okay, should I tell you, or I shouldn't tell you? I mean, you I'm can, like, if you want. 
Okay, so I got banned from Tinder. <laughs> hey, what? How do you get banned from that? How the fuck? What did you do? <laughs> <need you. laughs> oh! Oh my god! Did you guys hear about... There was a dude recently... Went on a Tinder date... Murdered her... Oh yeah, I heard this! And they have I pictures did. of him in the elevator... With the body in a suitcase? What the fuck? And it's what? real. Dude goes on Tinder date. Dude murders Tinder date. Dude puts body of former Tinder date in a suitcase and is on hotel security bringing suitcase out of hotel. Well, Whoa. Yeah. Oh, boy. Nice. Uh, so, so I'm guessing the date didn't go well. God damn it, Brandon. Brandon. Either that or it went really too, or like way too well. She's just like, I can't live without you. And he's like, Well, I'm not interested. And she's like, Then murder me and chop me up and put me in your suitcase so I can or be with you. Or it's one of those type of situations where she is, or one of them is like super into the idea of snuff films and wanted she, to oh. make their own. Um, I actually like Mark's idea better with a little change. She goes, I just can't live without you. And he goes, Okay. And then it just cuts to him in the elevator with the with the suitcase. <laughs> oh, so, anyway, um, okay, I guess I'm I guess I'm the in the minority here. Um, on a lot of dating websites now, there are fucking hella like spam bots. Obviously. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, there's nothing new. But there are also people now just openly soliciting for prostitution. Isn't that yep. kind of what we do with the podcast? Hey. What? You know, oh, we're just true. asking people Have to I give us... Have I been using some... this podcast wrong? We're, <laughs> you know, we just get on here. We just tease people constantly, tease each other, and then hope people like us and eventually give us money. <laughs> oh, you're, God you're damn it, we're And we're providing so, a service of God some sort. It. So, <laughs> anyway... um. A lot of so I've I've when they first started it would just be like girls messaging and they're like hey I need such and such amount of money do you want to meet up now and we'll do stuff but uh, now they they like play the lo they're long conning I had a, I was talking to this girl from Tinder uh, for like I'm talking like a good couple hours before she even brought up the fact that she was providing a service Point and uh, pay to play yeah a pay to play situation as as it were and. Uh, when when I when she finally revealed that she which, that she was a, a pay to play, I was just like, huh? Boobies. I was like, man. God damn it, Jeff. <laughs> I, I was I thought I was feeling a connection here. Maybe ask you out to lunch or whatever. And so I was like, okay, well, uh, I'll play. And um, not 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 like I was going to pay her money to have sex with me. I mean, who was going to? Wait I was going minute. to play. Hold on. I Such was going to mess with her. Words. Yeah. I was going to mess with her. I was like, fuck that. You know what? This is two hours of my time. I could have been talking to someone else. And so, uh, we're talking. She's like, uh, she was like, so I just wanted to know if you need my services. Um, I'm free all day. And I was like, yeah, how much? It's like a hundred dollars for an hour of service or to full satisfaction for $400. And I said, all right, I'll take three. Didn't specify <laughs> three. What? <laughs> I just said, I'll take three. <laughs> and she's like, oh, okay. And then she sent me a picture of her titties. And uh, she's like, do you want to come to me or should I come to you? And I was Wait, like, all right. Question. I actually do have a quick question. I'm sorry. Um, were the titties surrounded by a fur coat with a pearl necklace? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh he's the oh, poor guy. He's, he is having a PTSD moment right now. <laughs> <laughs> so answer your question, Jeff. No, fuck you. There was no fur coat. Catch oh, her face. Jeff, she Jeff knows wait, 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 how wait, wait. to answer. No, no, but Jeff knows how to how to, how to ask the important questions that we're all seeking. Guys, I've never been more proud of myself in life or work. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Jeff, you need to do so much more. Oh yeah, that's. <laughs> That's pretty Jeff, well established. You're, Jeff, you're gonna die soon, man. Hey, at Get least hey, shit Jeff, together. 
Hey, at least we have a benchmark now that we know what to work off of. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Wait. Um, okay. So so she's like, yeah, do you want to do you want to come to me or I'll come to you? And I was like, uh, I'll come to you. So she sends me her address and she's like, when do you want to come over? Come spelt C U M. Classy. So, and she's illiterate too. That sucks. I know. I again because she had fucked with me, I was gonna fuck with her. And so like Ew. 15 minutes later, I respond like, "Yeah, I can be there in 20." And she's like, "Okay, baby, let me know when you're on your way." And then she sends me another titty picture. It was also nice. nice. And um, I wait like five or six minutes, and I text her finally. I was like, "Hey, quick question: Do you have a different rate if there's a threesome? My wife might want to join us." <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> She's like, yeah, it's double the rate. And I'm like, cool. That sounds great. She wants to... <laughs> this is when I started going off a little bit more than I should have. Oh, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, my wife wants to know if you eat pussy. And she's like, oh, yeah, I'm really good at it. I was like, okay, and do you eat ass? Because my wife's into some really kinky shit. And she's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, all of that falls under oral pleasure. I also do rim jobs. And I was like, oh, cool. My wife likes... I'm sorry. I'm dying right now. Anybody else uh, just hearing that song? I'm a scat man. <laughs> um, my wife likes some light BDSM. Are you into that as well? And her response was, oh, cool. She sounds like she's my type. I do it all. At that point, I was like, hmm. I wonder <laughs> Maybe I should how... get the money. No, no. So I was like, huh, you just gave me a key piece of information. Oh, my God. wife, who doesn't exist, that wants to get into BS BDSM with you, is your type. So my next message was, my wife's thinking about getting into your line of work. She was hoping maybe you could show her a thing or two while we're over there today. And, um, and. She's, her response, and I will say this is a very sweet response. She says, oh, so would you feel bad if your wife was an escort? I was like, uh, honestly, her sex drives through the damn roof. I can't keep up with her. That is uh, a, an oddly genuine question. Yeah, I know. Now well, I kind of feel bad. Uh, it gets better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue. All right, well, then in that case, hey, guilty feelings, get the fuck down there. Go away. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get to feel guilty yet. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> when I, <laughs> after you've listened to this story, then you have my permission to cry. Continue.